Good evening. Where do you think of when I say the word poverty? Most people would now think of somewhere in the developing world, such as Africa or Southeast Asia. Certainly these countries have the most obvious form of poverty, that is, absolute poverty. The World Bank currently reports that the people in these countries live with under two and a half US dollars every single day, and that one in two children live in poverty. If we were to consider that there are 2.2 billion children in the world, you could see that there's over a billion children living in poverty, a massive number. So, it would make sense to think of this kind of poverty when the word is mentioned. However, there is another kind of poverty, a poverty that exists in every single town, in every single country, across the entire globe. It affects people from all backgrounds, all cultures, and all ethnicities. Poverty is everywhere. It's not just far away. Sometimes it's actually quite close. It's just not as obvious. It's this kind of poverty. It's present in countries like Germany and Europe, uh, everywhere in Europe basically, that I have been concerned with over the last three years. In 2008, when I was in grade seven, I struggled to decide upon my community and service project. The community and service project is a necessary part of the NYP program we have to give something to the community while learning something ourselves. I decided that my CNS project would be focusing on trying to help people in these countries so that people don't really notice that they're in poverty. And that's why my project was, and still is, about helping the people in Bonn, my home city in Germany, arguably one of the most developed countries in the world. But even though Germany is so developed, there's still so much poverty here. There are over 345,000 homeless people in Germany, and a quarter of them are children. That means there's over 85,000 children living on the streets in Germany. Something absolutely appalling for a country ranked 9 on the HDI, or Human Development Index, the UN's most recognisable form of measuring the development of The purpose of my CNS project under the Christmas tree was to give Christmas presents to children in and around Bonn who normally wouldn't get anything for Christmas. Now, imagine for a moment that you're a child from an impoverished background. It's Christmas, but you know you're not going to get anything because your parents can't afford a present. It's Christmas, a time for universal happiness, and it's essentially being highlighted how poor you are. But then, one year, you do get a present. The sheer joy you'd feel at getting something, even something small, would be overwhelming. That is what Under the Christmas Tree is all about. For the past three years, a small group of friends and I have collected gifts from the generous families of VIS and donated them to these children. The gifts are firstly wrapped after being put in boxes and distributed to the charity Dear Pony. Now. Obviously, a project like this doesn't come without its hitches. Imagine once again, you're the same child, and you've just got that present for Christmas. Imagine you open it, and you find a puzzle, a really old puzzle that's got half of its pieces missing. That, that would be terrible, wouldn't it? And people do donate that kind of stuff. It's, it's not appropriate, and it's a big problem. And therefore, my view for the future is to empower others to take control of my project, to educate our community about how to make meaningful donations that respect the dignity of these children that are receiving them.